everybody and welcome to After the Curtain Call. Now for those of you guys that don't know, last week or a week or two ago, I don't know, we saw this game featured in the menu screen for another game we played and it looked really, really interesting to me and I just had to look into it and I am super excited to explore it today. Let's just deep dive straight into it. So as the name suggests, this game takes place in a theater, and all I know about it is that we're playing as an electrician who has to go around and fix various things in this theater. That's really all I know. I'm going into the game kind of blind, but I am super excited to see where it goes. Let's just go straight into it then. After the curtain call. Act one! Yes, this game has multiple acts too. And Tremis... And... And... Tremis one? Find all the books first. We have to find books and stuff interesting. Sigismund's monologue is a piece of Life is a Dream by Pedro Calderon de la Barca. Uh, Sigismund is an heir to the throne, but he was deceived. He was locked in a tower where he questions whether his role as a king and life itself is reality or a dream. Ah, so is that the plot of this act? Interesting. Okay, life is a dream. Is it real? Is it fake? <laughs> Nobody knows. Illuminate the actor. The king dreams he is king. And he lives in the oh, like voice acting. King, okay. Commanding and Oh, oh, wait, hold up, what just happened? Wait, I was ready to watch the thing. Oh, am I supposed to follow? Oh, it's like backward. Wait, the no, it's not backwards. Dreams he is king. Oh, I thought we were just watching. In the deceit of a king, commanding and governing, and all the praise he receives is written in wind and leaves a little dust on the way when death ends all with a breath. Where, then, is the gain of a throne that shall perish and not be known in the other dream that is death? Dreams the rich man of riches and fears, the fears that his riches breed. The poor man dreams of his need and all his sorrows and tears. Dreams he that prospers with years. Dreams he that feigns and foregoes. Dreams he that rails on his foes. And in all the world I see, man dreams whatever he be. This guy's spitting and bars, Loki. No man knows. And I too dream and behold, I dream I am bound with chains. And I dreamed that these present pains were fortunate ways of old. What is life? To be or not to be. Me told. too. What is life of frenzy extreme? Okay, Shakespeare. The shadow of things that seem, and the greatest good is but small, that all life is a dream to all, and that dreams themselves are a dream. <sighs> and what is a dream but the absence of thought? And what is a dream but the life of another? Hmm. That is only live in the mind. A dream is nothing. Play. Why don't you understand? It is nothing. There's a voice back there. All these stories are just Play myths, subjective part. ideas, exaggerations, dramatizations. Play Why did you come? Play we have part. nothing to give. Oh, it's like we are actors following Play a script. Part. Play your part. Interesting. I was like, I could hear something back there. Yeah, that was a killer. That was. Oh, there's more. It's, it's a dream. Life could be a dream. Life could be a dream. You're the electrician, right? Yeah, I am. Moves the spotlight. I. Yeah. I need you to do us a favor. Okay, go, bet. Go behind the stage and the radio. The radio. Turn it on. I, I didn't manage to turn it on. Something might be wrong with it, please. It's Easy. really important. We're I got you. On you. Mm -hmm. Dude, I'm an electrician. I can turn on a radio, right? All you gotta go is just go over there and go boop and just hit it on. Oh, this looks so cool. Ooh. Oh, I love the atmosphere. Look at this. Can we jump down? Nope, there is an invisible wall there. Okay, we have to go turn the radio on behind the stage. That was that was a really cool intro. I really like that. Okay. Let's see, what do we have going on in here? Today's uh, the today's the day. This oh. is the day we risk it all. I don't Mr. Even have to read. Lewis, famous drama passionates. They are coming to see our play at the Goldshine Theatre. <gasps> the Lewises. Oh my god. Their family has supported small acting companies since time immemorial. And today is our turn. Th th that is if everything turns out fine, of course. 
I have been practicing theater since I was six years Heck old. Yeah. And today, us leg wreckers will rise leg to the wreckers? top. Leg wreckers? I, I'm, I'm getting nervous. It, is it too obvious? Maybe I should stop writing notes and continue practicing the script. Oh, ah, those sounds in the background. I hope it goes well. Let's break a leg. I love the, let's break a leg. Yeah, you're gonna kill it, Jeffrey. Us leg wreckers. I don't think I've ever heard that before. Can I take the candle? No. Okay. Kind of want to go down there, but I want to explore this level first. Okay, so there are some people that are coming to... Oh, it's locked. There are some people that are coming to visit this company. Okay, cool. We just have to go turn the radio on. We are, we're just a little electrician. We're just a little guy. Electricity! Ah, my home! Not my home! Uh, search for the key and access the electricity sources. Yeah, it's pretty dark back here. This is big. Okay, so we have to turn the radio on behind the stage, right? Oh, let's go on the stage. Can I be an actor? Please, let me have my moment. To be or not to be. That is the question. A little Shakespeare for you. That was a super cool monologue the guy was doing at the beginning. One from five books. A mystical and a horrible lovecraft tale about a kid who, misled by his grandfather's indica indications, awakes an elder being while making a snowman. A Christmas classic for the whole family that I myself would recommend. Huh. Is horrorful a word? I don't think I've ever heard that word before. Um, oh, we also have a key back here. Nice. All right. Radio is... Oh, it's not working. Fix the sounds, main electricity source. Ah, oh, bummer, dude. How is the radio connected to, like, a whole other electricity source, though? Oh, there's another book down here. Hello. In each page, a warrior is presented as a dictionary entry. Alexis, another warrior that went from being flesh and bone to another demigod. As the legend says, a shepherd walking a sheep saw him fall from the sky with a bright light. Alexis passed the time watching the gladiators fight. It was said that when the Roman Empire began, Alexis was the best warrior from the abilities he had lear only learnt by watching others fight. He died during a battle, and it was rumored golden blood dripped from his wound. Oh, dang, that's pretty sick, bro. That's pretty metal. It is known for a fact he had an offspring, but their whereabouts were lost to time. Ah, is it us? Do you think we have golden blood? Dude, I don't know, given that this is like a horror game, maybe we'll figure that out sooner or later. This is a big theater, wow. Decoration! It's lacquered as well. There is so much here. Employees only, luckily for me, I'm an employee. Okay, and this just goes back down into the theater. Anything good on today? No? Okay. Oh, jeez, it's so dark. All right, let's head over to the electricity closet then, because I'm assuming that's where we need to go to. Um, do I have an inventory? How do I, how do I access my inventory? I have a key. Maybe if I shake it enough, it'll open. Open! Open! Please! I swear I, didn't I pick up a key? Or is that a key to a different place? Let's see, let's head back up here. Maybe we missed something. Was there another door up here? Um... What I'm curious about is when you're, oh! Hello? Ew, what was that? Oh, what the heck? I was just about to ask when we were doing the lighting, like, we missed it at first. Something attacked us. I'm assuming that something was whatever that thing was over there. Ew, what was that? Please don't attack me. I'm just the electrician. Please, no thank you. So I guess we are going the right way here. There we go. Oh, we have another hallway. Let me in. No. Oh. Oh, whoa. Oh, well, look at this. We have a little wire. Oh, might be. Sorry, I shouldn't mess with wires. I'm going to get electrocuted. Oh, cute. Nope, that didn't work. All right. Oh, but I'm assuming it probably connects somewhere else. Or maybe we just turn the lights on. Ah, oh, it opened up here. The tenth sister will hatch. What about the other nine? What kind of sacrifice is going on in here? Hello. I'm so happy. We had never had the theater for us. And from not having anything, to have the whole gold sign theater, that's a big step right there. It is not the biggest stage, but it has rooms everywhere. There are so many more rooms. space for our costumes. And scenery is something I will take with open arms. I think the new decorations, by the way, there's a sphere. Was it the egg Not that the, the Tenth Sister is in? No, oh. but it's somewhat strange. Viscous and gigantic. To be honest, 
I don't know what they expect us to make with that thing. I don't blame you. There's just a big sphere in the uh, costume room. Or in the decoration room. Huh. Interesting. Tenth sister will hatch. Huh. Oh, there's gonna be puzzles. Oh. Oh, guys, I'm not- I'm, <laughs> We saw what happened last time I had to do stuff with puzzles. It did not go- Do I have to get it to connect to everything, or can it just go- Nope. Um, okay, puzzles. Oh, wait, actually, this might not be that bad. There we go, easy, look at us go. Um, where does this lead off to? Oh, straight into the darkness, okay. Ah, it opened, there we go. Don't want to go into the darkness. I feel like something's gonna come out of there. <laughs> uh, search for the key and access to the electricity sources. I feel like I should have these keys. If I'm an electrician already, like, I should have them. See, we have three out of five books. Uh, this piece tells the story of the Mayans, who ended up being eradicated by the Aztecs in a cruel and painful way. Because of this, their souls wouldn't be transformed into butterflies as their religion demanded, since they didn't reach the sun. They instead became their counterparts, moths, living in the dark and forever searching sun's light. An interesting and dramatic fantasy book. Well, that does sound interesting. I wonder how these books connect to the story. The Fall of the Mayans. They've got a big old bug face on there. I wonder how they connect. Are they different plays Is that they're putting on? Is it possible that the Lewis have criticized our play as excellent? No, even better. Is hmm. it even possible they have bought us the whole Goldshine Theater? <gasps> Ooh. I'm shocked. The Goldshine is now ours. Yeah, it is. I never would have seen it coming. World. Besides the theater, they have also bought us some decorations, which Helena Scary is organizing, noises. and some extra pounds Jeffrey has spent on books to write an original oh, play. Oh, okay. I always wanted to do that. If Jeff wasn't a mess and didn't throw his books around everywhere, I'm sure they're lying around here somewhere. Okay, so I'm assuming the Lewis people brought this sphere in if they bought decorations for them, and then the books, I guess, are Jeffrey's for him to write a play. Interesting. Okay, things are starting to connect together a little bit more. We got a key to the electricity, um, which I think was this way. The radio isn't working. Fix the sound's main electricity source. All right, that should be easy enough. I'm like scared walking down this hallway now. I'm worried that another like tentacle thingy is gonna come out and attack us. Hello? Hi. All right. Let's go into the electricity room then. Shpadonk! Sounds! Oh, this is such a sad little room down here. Oh, I was expecting something a little bit nicer. Oh, we got a book! Um, four out of five books. The classic story of the Pied Piper of Hamelin. However, in this book in specific, it is noted that the flute is not what attracted the invasive rats, but that the flute summons some creature, which was itself the reason of the rats escaping away. The book calls it this creature the... Guys, I don't know how to say this. One sec. The sh... Uh... I'm assuming a geist is like a ghost, like a poltergeist. The bully spirit, that's what it means. Let's see, how do we say this? Schlägergeist. The Schlägergeist. Okay, the bully spirit. The book is really, really old. Could it be the original? Oh, interesting. I wonder, do we think the creature going around is the, the Schlägergeist, the bully spirit? I don't know, it seems like he's been bullying me a little bit, giving me some spooks and scares. Alright, sounds. Um, okay, let's go up here, down. I love the way the wire just goes, woo! It's like those guys that are outside of car dealerships that are just like, woo! <laughs> That's what it feels like. Dude, I'm a killer electrician, we're doing a great job. Oh! Leave me alone, Schlägergeist! Life is dream- the game title! The game title! They said it! Life is dream. Life could be a dream. Dude, I sure hope this is a dream and that I'm not actually being haunted. No, thank you. What is that thing, though? Like, I'm assuming it's the Schlägergeist. That's my theory right now, guys. I hope we get all the books and that we're not gonna miss something. I'm scared something's gonna pop out of the dark at us. I just wanna turn on the radio. Ah, some good old white noise. Something to fall asleep to. That's not- do you guys hear that? Someone's got some sick bass playing. What is that? Hello? Hide? 
Oh, 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 I, I, oh. Oh, where, how, where, how? I'm going into the electricity closet, bro. Going into my home. Hiding from, hiding from this whole thing. Oh, oh, hi! Was that the Schlagergeist? Oh, what on earth? Where was I supposed to hide? Oh, I totally missed the memo. Oh, maybe I didn't miss the memo. Hello. We're still alive. Oh, okay, bet. All right, let's see. Maybe we need to open this thing up. Um, wait, no. Let's go down, up, down, up. There we go. Maybe we're not that bad at puzzles. Dude, I don't know what's worse. These demon dudes or dropping into this, like infinite pit i think i'm gonna take the pit there we go Whee! into the pit we go <laughs> whoa oh maybe it's like a vent dude how deep is this thing we must have killer knees if we're able to drop down that far hi it's me your friendly electrician i heard you needed some uh electricity you need some light? I'm pretty killer at attaching wires together! Listen! <laughs> I don't think monsters dropping down on top of me is part of my job. <laughs> I am not an exorcist, I'm an electrician. And that was all of it! Dang! Uh, thanks for playing! You just completed After the Curtain Call, Act 1. Did you find all the books to play the entrame? Oh, extra content. Ah, did you find the Act 2 Wink Easter egg? Oh, we were missing a book still. We only got four out of the five. I wonder where the other one was supposed to be. Okay, I want to try and find this fifth book. We found four of them in, like, pretty obvious places. Um, but I wonder where the fifth one was. And then shboom, and then boom. Oh, I saw a book down there. Did we get that one? Wait, that might be the one that we missed. Ah, there's one right here. Yeah, wait, no, did we see this? No, I don't think we saw this one. Nice. The book narrates the life of uh, Luntian, a, myth a mythological creature living in an old Philippine forest uh, in which mystical and sometimes horrible things happen. A marvelous piece of narrative fantasy. Uh, Luntian seems like a great guy, if I do say so myself. Okay, so we have three out of five books. We know where the other two are. At least we should. We found them last time. Yeah, here it was. Five out of five! Nice! All right, so now we got all of the books for the extra content. The entremets. Can we start it? Yeah, we got them! Nice! Okay, let's see. Oh, are we just continuing from here? Oh, hello. We're just back in here. Okay, bet. I was expecting like something to watch, not like more gameplay. Bet, this is so cool. Ten sister. Hello? Whose life signs upon us. Hi. Our hearts beat and now step sound. At the rhythm of the music, will be your voice, will be your body. Will your divine body miss the sky once again? We will set up. Oh! Amen! Amen, sister! <laughs> So I'm assuming that this ten sister thingy is probably the sphere in the closet because that voice was the same person that was like talking about what like the s who are the people the Smiths the Willises the people that like bought the company they like gave them decorations and things and one of them was the sphere in the decoration closet so I'm assuming they're the ones that gave the um oh hello Oscar Wilde. The stage is not merely the s the uh, blah 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 the stage is not merely the meeting place of all arts but it but is also the return of art to life. Oscar Wilde, you talk, <laughs> you talk too much. Why say many word when little word do fine? So real, dude. This demon guy, I'm I'm kind of rocking with him. Oh, hello. Are you the guy? Oh, you're freaky looking. You're like a squid. Okay, puzzle. Is this possible? Wait, how do you do this? Oh, is it just like this? Ah, there we go. Ah, there we go. 10 out of 10. Guys, I'm an electrician. Hold up, is there anything over here? Nope, just some, just, just a casual, like, altar ritual going on over here. You know, nothing crazy. Oh, there's a lot more right now. Okay. Ew. Um. 
Listen, I'm not the janitor, bro. I'm just an electrician. Someone else is gonna have to clean that bit up there. Why is life a dream? That's so real. Oh, hello, what's this? Why is life a dream, I wonder? Is there anything else? Oh, what, what, hold up. <laughs> hold up, <laughs> I'm flying around the computer a little bit. What happens if I walk through this? Yippee, going through the sludge. Oh, hello. Hi, oh! That was a freaky little laugh. <laughs> Did he just say play the part? Listen, I've been trying to. I've been trying to play my role as an electrician, man. I've been doing my job. Everything that you're expecting me to do right now, like dealing with demons, that's outside of my certification, dude. Honestly though, I had a lot of fun with this game. It's a really, really cool concept. As someone who's like into theater and like likes acting and things like that, I, I'm a fan of a theater themed horror game. I really like the art style and just the general vibe of the game. And I'm curious to see where it goes. Like the fact that it has like all this really nice music, all the voice acting to it, it feels really clean. And I'm excited to see what act two is. A link to this game will be in the description below if you guys wanna check it out and play it for yourselves and support the creator as well. Go check out their other games too. They have some other ones, a craft of mine, for example, that was one we played a while ago too. And thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a lovely, lovely rest of your days. Bye!